here I'm going to show you how to solve query 9 for the Northwind database assignment. This query asks you to calculate the total sales for each customer in October 1996. And you have to display as the result of the query customer ID and customer or company name and the total sales for the month of October 1996. And the total sale has to be sorted in descending order. So in order to get all the data for um, solving this query, we need to join three table, which is customer order and order detail table. And Let me get this. We actually have to use the criteria um, to limit the order date to, to be the month of October for 1996. This is the um, specific criteria that you should um, put in. In order to calculate the total sales, um, this will be the formula. Let me explain this formula here. We're going to multiply unit price with quantity and times that with one minus discount. And so for instance, if it's a $5, someone purchased six unit of it, that will be $30. But if it's like 10% off, which means we're going to multiply uh, 90% which is 0 0.9 and that will give us um, $27 for the subtotal and that's just one of the items ordered by the customer and we have to actually add all those subtotal that occurred in the month of October of 1996. The CCUR means come um, convert to currency format allowed us to show the result um, in the currency format. The total sales column is actually just a label, um, a label or caption um, for this column. If you use this particular formula, uh, you should choose expression at the total row. I'll, I'll illustrate what that means. And another way to do it, um, alternative way, is you will use this formula without the sum here. However, in that case, you actually have to, in the total row, you have to choose sum. Uh, to simplify things, I'm going to illustrate how to solve it in this fashion. So let's formally switch to the database and let's start from beginning if you click on query 9 you're going to get this you need to go to home and switch to design view, get rid of this um, dummy heading, and let's study the database a little bit. Go to the database tool, choose relationship, this is what you're going to see. We do need customer ID and the company name that's in the customer table here. In order to decide where the order detail or order occur in October of 1996. We do need the order table that give us the order date to be used as a criteria. And we will use as illustrated earlier in the uh, assignment requirement, unit price times quantity times one minus discount. Um, and 
will give us the subtotal and then we just add it up okay so this three table are connected by relationship um, that allowed us to uh, perform the joint operation to join this three table such that we can use um, all the necessary information that we need to um, perform this query so I'm going to close this click right mouse button first get the customer table just double click and then get the order table and order detail table I'll close it I need customer ID customer name and the total cell is a calculated field as we illustrated uh, earlier so what I'm going to do is actually copy this formula all together I'm going to just paste it over we do need to go back to let's come to the design mode choose total so the total row show up and by the way the total row you can turn it off you can also click right mouse button and then get access to the total row using this total here um, to turn it on and off is another way over here we don't use group by this is actual expression and we do need to show it we're still missing one thing which is the order day the order day we need to enter the criteria which is between pound sign let me give this a little bit of space um, let's say October 1st 1996 pound sign and and 31st that's the criteria um, so that's the month of October we don't need to show the order day it is only used as a criteria so we will choose where this is expression this is where and let's just view it or run it either way so that actually looks pretty good but we're still missing one thing the total sales has to be sorted so we'll come back here and the sort in descending order Um, hold on a second in descending order oops sorry not here it's actually the total sales should be sorted in descending order that's why I got an error message earlier so that looks nice and neat okay so that's actually the solution for query 9 you can just click on this this icon to save it close it open it up again you get it okay and question 10 um, if I may just briefly give you some hint question 10 is very similar to um, query 10 is very similar to query 9 uh, it basically asks you to list all the products total sales amount uh, for the whole year of 1997 so you do want to show product ID and product name and the annual sales 
for the year of 1997. And basically, instead of, um, let me switch back, instead of actually um, using customer table, order table, and order detail, we actually have to use the product table, order table, order detail, and order table. Order table give us the order day, so we make sure it's in the year of 1997. Order detail once again give us the subtotals, which allowed us to add it up to get the annual sales total. And the product table give us the product ID and product name. And we're not using the unit price in the product table, so we actually have to use the uh, unit price in the order table that represent the um, the unit price at the time of the sales. So instead of join customer order and order detail, we're joining um, orders, order details, and the product table. Okay, so read the query tense description to find out how to solve this problem. It's very similar to query 9, which I just explained. So good luck on, on this assignment. Thank you for listening.